Hi, this is PR Frank, and this is going to be a series of tutorials that compare coding in a text editor to coding in Adobe Dreamweaver. So buckle up because it's going to be a fun ride. I hope you learn something about coding, and I hope you learn how to do it differently between a text editor and something like Adobe Dreamweaver, which is a visual editor for HTML and CSS and beyond. So I'm using a piece of software that's called Brackets. And there are lots of different pieces of software for coding. Brackets is free, downloadable, on uh, dual platform. You can use it anywhere. So that's why I choose it. And you'll see some other reasons later why. When you first open software like Brackets, you have some getting started files. So this shows you kind of what code would look like if you've never seen HTML code. This is what you're going to be able to understand after this series of tutorials. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file, file new, and it gives us a blank file. When you're coding in HTML, the very first thing you have to do is tell it what kind of document you're going to be creating. And it looks like this, exclamation point, doc type, HTML. And once we've established the type of document, then we put our first element in there or our first tag. And there's an opening tag and a closing tag. The opening tag looks like this, HTML. And then you need a closing tag. Look at the difference between these two. The opening tag says HTML. The closing tag has a forward slash and then the same word. So that's called an element and it has an opening tag and a closing tag. I'm going to put some space in between these two because everything that's going to be for this HTML page has to go between these two tags. Now, before we go any further, we need to save this document and some things will change when we save it. I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to work from my desktop right now. I'm going to create a brand new folder on my desktop called tutorial. Inside of that tutorial folder, I'm going to name this page index. The very first page of a website is called index.html. It can also be called home, but index is a more standard name for the very first page of a website. So we're going to click on save and immediately you'll start to see that our text is highlighted in different colors. So this tells us that these two tags, the opening HTML tag and the closing HTML tag are paired together and are working correctly. If I would, for example, delete part of this, then something turns red and that says, hey, something's missing. So I gotta make sure to put my right angle bracket back in and it turns blue again. Let's go ahead and continue to um, code this first page. So in between my HTML tags, uh, I need another two set of tags. I need a head tag. And this is where all the content that you don't see on your web page will appear, things like how it's styled and what's going to be on the page for search engines. And you also need a body tag or body element. And that set of body tags is what you see in your website. So let's go ahead and put some space in between these things and add a couple of more things and then we'll see what our page looks like. In between the two head tags, we put what's called a title tag. And, that, and you'll notice now that I've saved my page as an HTML, Whenever I put the opening tag, the closing tag for that element appears automatically. So right in between the title tags, I can type tutorial, for example. And the title tag is what will appear in the tab of your browser window once you view this in a browser, which we'll do in just a minute. Then down here in the body element, and I'm gonna tab in a little bit. You might notice how I'm trying to keep things organized. The HTML covers the whole page, I tab in, and make sure that my head is indented a little bit so that I can tell that that's in between those two tags. Same thing with body. They are in the same indent level. Titles inside of head, so it's indented. So in the body element, I'm just going to type my first web page. All right, that's what I want to appear in the browser window. So if I save it, I'm just going to do Command S. It's Control S on a PC. Over here, there's a little lightning bolt icon. If I click that, it launches in my browser of choice. In this case, I'm using Chrome. And you can see it now says my first web page. And the word tutorial appears in the tab because that's what I wrote right here in the title tag. Very good. So now you have your first web page. Another aspect is the meta element. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and type in meta. Okay. Now you notice when I finish off the meta element, it doesn't automatically put a closing tag on there. And that's because the meta element stands alone. So what we need to do inside of the meta element is we need to put what are called attributes. And these are all the choices for attributes. Okay. And the very first thing we need is name. And what is it? Well, let's go ahead and put description. Okay. And the other part of the meta element is content. So I'm going to try, type that in. There's content. It automatically gives me an equal sign and some quotation marks. And uh, this would be a place where I would describe what my website is about. So this is an HTML tutorial. So that any search engine that's out there looking for a website about HTML tutorials would land upon this site because it knows that it is about that because of this meta element, which is a description here with the content of HTML tutorial. So there are lots of meta elements that you need to put into your document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to a website to get a bunch of code. And this is what coders do. I'm going to go to W3 schools. They're the authority on HTML. And if I come up here to the search box and I search meta, it's going to give me all kinds of ads first. I'm going to skip those. And here, HTML meta tag. It tells me all about the meta tag, how it works with examples. It's a really great resource. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these meta tags and select them and copy and paste them into my site. It saves me a little time having to code it all in. So I'm going to actually replace this description as well because it includes the description. So there we go. I just want to line those up a little bit with a few tab keys. All right, so my description, of course, is not free web tutorials. Well, it kind of is, but I want to say HTML tutorials. Uh, keywords, these are great keywords. I don't need JavaScript. Maybe I want Dreamweaver in there too. The author of this, of course, is me, PR Frank. And the viewport is a good one to have. So if somebody has zoomed into their browser, this will reset it for them as that page loads. Okay, very good. Our page is now searchable. If, if, if I put this on the internet and someone searches for something like CSS, HTML, Dreamweaver tutorials, they might get this as a, one of the choices. And you'll notice if I save this and I preview it, of course it looks exactly the same and it won't affect what's going on inside of the page. So that's the basics for how to set up a website. There's the structure. Now I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing in Adobe Dreamweaver.